What is up guys, it is Mazarov here, welcome to this video, today I'm going to be talking about Metal, which is the new thing in iOS 8 uh, that Apple is raving on about, it's going to be able to basically make developers uh, get more power out of the A7 and A8 chips. Now this is only available if you upgrade to iOS 8, and basically what it does is, uh, so you're going to have like three layers, you have the game layer, uh, you have the hardware layer, which is your chipset, and then you have this middle layer called OpenGL, and uh, in the old ones which didn't have Metal, this was say this big, and now now it's absolutely tiny and you basically get closer to the metal, hence why it's called metal, you get closer to the chipset, you can use more of the chipset's power. So what I'm showing you today is five games, all these five games have been optimized for metal, these are one of the six or seven games that now are. Uh, the only ones I'm not showing you are things like Modern Combat 5. Uh, because it's quite awkward to show you and uh, it's not really a game I play. But I'm going to start off uh, with something very simple. So this is Zen Garden. If you haven't played Zen Garden, it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a Zen Garden. You can uh, you can obviously make it all nice like this. You could get straight lines if you wanted perfect straight lines. I know this is probably going to kill some people that are not doing it right. Uh, but basically what it has allowed you to do on this is all of the kind of 3G graphics 3g 3d graphics on it are a lot better as you can see there's more depth everything's a lot smoother um it's just it just defines the experience a bit better it makes it a, night, a bit easier now i would show you what this was like without metal but sadly i can't but if you've used uh without let uh, without metal you will notice the lighting effects the shadows are better uh the actual 3d depth of uh, all the lines are better here and obviously, this isn't the only place you can go on this. You can go and explore uh, some other stuff if you wanted to. Because there's not just a Zen Garden. We're going to head off uh, up to the top now, which is where a little pond is. Uh, let's go. How do we go back here? Let's go back. There we go. And you have a little pond. And you can look at the water effects. The water looks super realistic. Uh, when you tap on the water, obviously, you can bring the fish to you. And uh, just everything works really well. It basically allows faster 3D rendering. I think I believe it's 10 times faster uh, than the than without without metal, which is obviously amazing. Anyway, enough of that game. That's kind of a boring game to show. I'm going to show you something that I play quite a lot, which is Pirates, uh, Plunder Pirates. It's a, a very much like a Clash of Clans style game, and this really uses metal well. This is obviously one of the first games that came out uh, to use metal from the start. Like the heart of it was based on the metal uh, process, and you can really tell. Uh, you know, you can really tell that because first of all, the water looks super realistic. It's really nice, bright colors. You can see the shadow effects. You can also spin the cameras around, and look at that. There's no stuttering at all when you spin the camera around. You know, you expect maybe a little bit of jitter, but look at that, smooth as anything. Um, and that's, of course, the, the 3D render models are looking amazing. And if we actually go into here, we can get some really close-up views of the uh, of the village. So it puts cameras around, and you can actually get a really nice 3D render of what you're looking at. The smoke particles, although not very uh, high detail, high quality, they're very cartoonish, but they look great. They work perfectly, and nothing, nothing stutters. Nothing stutters. Like, you know, the animations are nice and fluid. Um, the sound is great, too. It just... It just works. So on games like this, you can really already see it working. Uh, you can see that they, they can bring more stuff onto the screen. So I believe in Asphalt, you can actually get like three times the amount of players on the screen or cars on the screen, which is pretty impressive. And on this, it just allows for a lot smoother experience um, that really you shouldn't notice because it's just there. You know, your mind is just like, this runs perfectly. I don't need to, you know, worry about anything. I'm not getting any jitters or anything. So that's that's kind of what you're looking for. And that is exactly what we're getting here uh, in Plunder Pirates. So I'm going to jump out and show you some gameplay of a game uh, that is very, very new to the app market. It's called Mr. Crab. And this, again, takes, uh, takes a lot from the metal uh, process itself. Now, this is a really weird game. It's a really weird concept. concept. You're a crab. And you can only jump. That's the only thing I can actually do at the moment is jump. Um, and you you go one direction until you hit something. And then you can go another direction. There's things you can jump up, etc, etc. But you, you can see that this uses, obviously, the 3D effects really well. Going around this uh, kind of spiral. Oh, we need to kill that. We need to turn back around. That way, there we go. Uh, it looks great. It's smooth. That's the thing. I'm watching this like spin around, trying to look for a tiny, tiny hiccup. I can't notice the slightest hiccup, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, the model, the renders, uh, you know, the little particles, the little bubbles. It's just, it just makes for a great experience. And so far, uh, the few games that are optimized for metal are a little bit apart 
from the games that aren't. So you compare this to other games that, you know, have been optimized, sure, for uh, high quality on the iPhone 5S and whatever, but they really do not quite match just the speed, the fluidity that this offers. Now, obviously, games are just getting their hands on this. The developers are just getting their hands on this kit. Uh, this game's actually really hard to concentrate playing. Um, so expect games to really, uh, ham like, you, you'll you probably get a lot of updates soon saying, optimize for metal, uh, download it if you have iOS 8. And I definitely recommend doing it, even if they're just adding uh, new shaders, new particle effects, uh, faster 3D modeling, you'll get an overall great experience. And as you can see like that, no stutters, nothing at all. And did we get a three star? Oh, we only got a two star. That sucks. We should have got a three star. But that is a new game that takes effect from it straight away, and it's just uh, kind of a step up from the games that we're playing at the moment. So we're going to go on to um, a racing game now, which is Asphalt 8, which is obviously probably uh, the most graphically intense and the fastest racing game you have here. There is real racing as well, but that's not optimized just yet. But let's have a look at some of these events. So these are uh, some races. I've only very vaguely played this on this device. Um, let's see what we can... Can we, can we buy one of these? Let's buy that. Yeah, there we go, Audi R8. So you can first see the uh, the 3D models like that look really clean and uh, really nice for all the cars. But it's really when you get out into the gameplay that you notice uh, the difference. I've always had issues with Asphalt 8. Personally, it's kind of stuttered for me. I've used it on a Galaxy Note 3, which is obviously a powerhouse. Um, but I have noticed since I've been playing on this, I've had like no issues whatsoever, which is absolutely awesome. And please do remember, I am recording this. This is also getting direct capture, which takes up a lot of uh, a lot of data, a lot of usage of the phone's power. And for it to actually, I can't. I thought it was going to stutter like mad. I have not noticed one stutter yet, which is incredible, considering that I am recording this at the same time. Um, and this is direct capture as well. This isn't, you know, some kind of shoddy capture. This is 100% direct capture. But you can see the water effects coming on your screen. The other... Ooh! Ouch! <laughs> Crazy. Uh, the other cars, there's cars whizzing by everywhere. Like I said, they can now get three times as many cars on the screen at once, which is a really big difference. And you can really, you can really get into the game a lot more. Uh, now it's playing a lot smoother than before. Oh my god! There's so much going on, I don't even know what's happening. Uh, but the speed that this game plays at is actually scary. Um, and to kind of focus on everything, all the beautiful stuff that's happening is really, really hard. It's got like, you can see the lighting coming from all the neon lights in the buildings. Uh, then you have like, uh, initial light source which brings off shadows. You've got the reflections, uh, which look quite real-time reflections actually on the floor. Like the buildings actually relate to the ref reflections that you're seeing. In some games, you'll just get like a, a random light where it thinks the reflection should come up. Um, but on this, it's actually of the building itself, which is really cool. I'm hoping this is actually uh, in the recording. It is not stuttering at all, because for me, it's not. So I'm going to have to double check. If it is stuttering, just so you know, it's not stuttering for me at all. Oh my god, that light is so bright. Ah, right, let's get a jump, let's get a jump. Wee, there we go, there we go, buddy. And another one. Oh my god, we've got helicopters. And look at the distance that you can see as well. I haven't noticed anything popping into... Uh, into the foot into the into the game at the moment it all just seems to be there which is really cool because once you start noting some serious like popping lights trees buildings it really takes away from the experience but on this at the moment uh, I haven't noticed that at all which is pretty cool okay we're going around I think we're nearly the end yeah we're near at the end at least I hope so are we first yeah we are first boom we're doing really well uh, where am I going am I going through oh my god this is gonna be a tight oh, okay there we go there we go. Oh, no, I'm not first. I'm not first. I'm third. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Let's catch them up. I know you're there. Stop flashing your lights at me. But you like, look at the clouds at the top. The clouds look really good. And it's bits that you... Oh, my God. Is that a mech? It looks like a mech is moving around. Um, you know, it's things that you shouldn't notice. And, you know, it's just there. And you kind of take it in. And you're like, wow. that's That looks incredible. Let's try and knock this guy. Okay, he's going... Oh, where's he going? He's kind of drifting off. Oh, my God. He just crashed. Which slowed me down. Come on, let's pick up this nitrous boost. Uh, let's get a drift on. Get the drift around that corner. Yes, another nitrous boost. I needed that. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Nitrous all the way. Oh my god, sorry. There we go. We hit him off. Goodbye, my friends. We are now first. Coming up to the finish line. Surely soon. We've got a guy actually on the left road. You can see him in our mini-map. Uh, that's quite close. Come on, we're second, we're second. We can do this. 
We can do this. It's the water effects on the screen that really get me. I think they look amazing. Like the water dripping off it, the rain effects. Looks really, really cool. Come on, we're second. This is going to be a close call. This is going to be a really close call. Oh my god. So, no, there's a bus. We've got this guy. We've got this guy. We need to get behind him. We need to start draw. Oh, wow. Cutting across me like that is pretty dangerous. No, we came second. Ah, oh, we were super close. But there you go. There's some gameplay of Asphalt A. Again, it looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. Uh, and it's another game that, that takes really high usage. <laughs> and uh, it really looks good. So I'm going to finish off on this final game, uh, which is yet again another racing game. This is called Beach Buggy Racing. Again, optimized for metal. And this is a lot more cartoony version. Now, if you were if you were playing this on, uh, say, your 3DS, your PS Vita, hey, even your PS3 as an arcade game, as a download, you would not know that this is a mobile game. The quality of this game is incredible. Uh, there's Everything looks sharp, as you can see. You've got the shadows, you've got the water effects, you've got, like, the rapids. Um, nothing looks cheap. And look at the carts themselves. You can't. You can hardly notice any kind of triangulating things. Nothing looks boxy and and you know just shoddy. It looks round. You've got the effects on the floor, which you can see, and uh, you can also destroy stuff. Ow! Okay, like that. <laughs> you get taken out of the car. I'm coming for you, buddy. Taking me out like that. You can see the suspension going to work on the car as well. It's really, it's really impressive how mobile gaming has come recently, uh, and I, I can only see it going like this. No. Stop it, he's got the gravity thing on me, which just makes me bounce around. Uh, and it's, it's not too bad, but it kind of it gets kind of annoying. Right, I'm going to use this and slip. Oh, Jesus. There you go, let's slip them up. No, don't go in the water, don't go in the water. We're okay, we're okay. Water effects on the screen, we've been dazed. Somebody's confused us. Look at the particle effects exploding uh, in the lights. This is an absolutely gorgeous game. But again, as I said, if this came out for the PS Vita, people would be like, yeah, it's really good graphics. You know, it's very close to the Mod Nation Racers kind of thing. And boom, we came second again. What is it with us in second recently? So there we go, guys. There is some gameplay of the new Metal Optimized games. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. And tell me how this is going to affect your favorite game. Whether you're a Clash of Clans fan, an Angry Birds fan. Tell me how this is going to help your game uh, achieve better graphics. But if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button down below. And also comment on what you thought about the improvements. Feel free to go onto YouTube and search up... Uh, some earlier gameplay of these games, and you can kind of compare how they look now with Metal and how they didn't before. But until the next episode, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.